Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Corner. It is time once again for Andy's Tech Tip of the Day. Uh, tech Tip number seven, I think it is, if you're counting. Um, if not, go back and watch the other videos and you know where we're at. So today's tip is make sure you look presentable all the time. Um, you know, as far as your uniform, your your uh, presentation, you know, how you present yourself, everything like that. So many times I see techs or you know other contractors. Uh, they don't have some of the policies in place as far as what their guys look like. You know, I see people on job sites that have, you know, ripped up jeans or they're wearing shorts and tennis shoes and a uh, ripped up t-shirt or a dirty shirt, dirty uniform, things like that. And, you know, you got to look good with what you do. Um, I'm not saying you got to wear a suit and tie to work every day. I mean, we work in the field and I'm not saying anything about having dirty fingers. I mean, hell, look at my hands right now. I'm guessing they're probably pretty dirty. Um, you know, I get it. I know what we do for a living. I'm well aware that we get dirty. We're in dirty places. We're in crawl spaces and attics and in the mud and snow and all kinds of stuff. I get that. But if you, know, you show up to a job and you look dirty or you look uh, unkempt or whatever it is, then I mean, they're going to think that that's the kind of work that you do. I mean, I'm a firm believer in a company should be wearing a uniform. Um, a, a uniform shirt, matching pants. Uh, in our line of work, I think you gotta wear boots. Uh, that's my opinion. Some people wear tennis shoes, whatever. Um, I wear the like leather work shoes or whatever. So I mean, it it doesn't matter. There's a lot of variations there, but just look presentable. Because like I said, if you come into uh, a homeowner's home and you're just covered in dirt and mud and grease and everything from the last call you were on they're gonna think that you're gonna treat their house like that. And if we walk into a $5 million house and everything is bleach white from the carpet to the ceiling, I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be happy with you leaving little grubby, greasy, dirty fingerprints all over the place. So, you know, I know we get dirty on calls, I said that. But, you know, if you're on a call and you are, you know, filthy, nasty, dirty, whatever, you know, stop at a gas station, stop wherever you can, wash your hands up, you know, comb your hair, I wash your face, I, I don't know, whatever it is, just make sure you look presentable. If your uniform's all dirty and nasty, I carry a second uniform with me every day. Um, I don't always have to use it, but you know, it's there. If I do have a nasty job, I can switch and clean, because you gotta think that every job we go to, you know, each one is a different call. It's not usually one long, dirty call all day long. There are days of that, but for the most part, a service tech goes from house to house to house fixing things, or business to business, whatever um, line of work you're in. But, you know, take, take the time to clean yourself up a little bit, you know, clean some of the dirt and grease off from the last call before you go to the next call. Um, you know, you want to make sure you look decent. Um, you know, you wherever you work at is going to di dictate what type of uniform you have and what's required and everything like that. You know, I'm not getting into who has better uniforms or what. I mean, uh, you, you can see mine now. I think they look like bowling shirts. I'm not really a big fan, but uh, we're actually getting ready to change, so we'll see what they look like. But, you know, you just have to make sure you look professional because if you look professional and you talk professional and you act professionally, then the homeowner is going to think that you are a professional. Now, if you're an idiot or a professional, one way or the other, it doesn't matter. But if you make them believe that you are a professional, they're going to think you're a professional. And, you know, that makes it so much easier when it comes time to uh, tell them what the repair is. And, you know, this is part X has failed and it's going to cost you X amount of dollars. If they, if they know that you are a professional or see you as a professional, then it's going to be so much easier for them to say, oh, okay, let's just do that. You know, because everything that we do from our presentation, how we look, how we talk to them, how we do everything, you know, handle ourselves in the home is all going to determine how easy that call is going to go. Because if they think you're an idiot, if they think you're some, you know, lowly grease monkey that's getting fingerprints all over their walls and all over their carpet and everything else, then, I mean, they're going to have a hard time believing you that, well, it's going to cost $1,000 today. And, you know, they're not going to like that. So everything you do makes your job easier in the long run because you have to look at the whole call, not just, um, you know, finishing up saying, okay, it's fixed. There you go. You got everything leads up to that point. 
So just make sure make sure you look pre presentable. You know, I, I think you should be fairly clean shaven. You know, short beards. I, I don't know. Long beards are in style now. I'm not allowed to have one at work, but uh, you know, where you work, you might be able to have them. That's cool as long as it's uh, you know combed or upkept or whatever. I'm cool with that. I don't mind long beards. I mean, I think you should have a decent haircut. Um, you know, at least not you know shaggy falling down in your face kind of thing. Um, you know, just look presentable. And I mean, that, that is more important than anything because first impressions, unfortunately, mean a lot. Uh, everybody says, oh, that's that, you know, nobody should worry about that. But you know what? We're in the service industry. We meet people every day. So first impressions really do mean something. So, um, you know, when they meet you, make sure you're presentable. Um, but that's my tech, for, tech tip for today. So questions, comments, concerns, lewd comments, whatever, leave them down below. Uh, I ask you, you know, please like, share, and subscribe as much as possible. Thank you and God bless.